Okay, Gareth, as soon as the judges are settled, you feel ready? Uh huh. Remember to raise your hand at the start of your presentation and raise it again at the end to stop the clock. Mm -hmm. Best of luck, hope it goes well. Cheers. <laughs> Enjoy yourself in your own time. Nice one, thanks. Okay, everyone ready? Good? Okay. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, go with the music. Okay, so that's the time. So, hello judges. It's so awesome to be with you guys today. I've been looking forward to this for about six months. Now, before I start, I actually just want to give you a few sheets just over there. Now what they're going to do is they're just going to clip under your score sheets that you've already prepared. And they're just going to help you out along the way with any descriptors or anything you might miss here from me. So I'm just going to get this for you. Okay. So there's one for you. So it just goes underneath your score sheet. If that's good. Okay. So, the coffee. So the coffee I've decided to bring you to you today is a blend. It's a blend of three coffees. The main component being a pop natural coffee from the Jatoba region in Brazil. The other two coffees are both Costa Rican coffees, both honey processed, one from the El Centro region, another from the Salaca region. With all three coffees being a pop natural, it's a sweet coffee. So I'm gonna serve this coffee to you first with the espressos. And for me, the taste modalities of this espresso are a great black acidity, also with that drying of the mouth that you get from like a, a nice wine, a sugarcane sweetness, and like a cinder toffee bitterness just at the back. Whereas the flavors are more, again, like cane sugar, and an almond nut butter, which is just really good. The body is like a 2% fat milk. So, I'm just gonna go and prepare your espresso for you guys. Judges. I'm using scales in and out. I'm aiming for 21 grams, but giving myself a 0.2 leeway up or down. Gareth competing with all the other baristas in this four day event for a place in the semi finals of the UK Barista Championship. using scales to weigh out, but I'm only going to be weighing one of my shots. So again, here are my espressos, and those flavour notes you get are cane sugar and an almond nut butter. Okay, so while you taste and score those, I'm going to do some signature drink preparation. Let's give Gareth a round of applause for those four espressos, please. Thank you. I'm just going to pull a shot of espresso into this glass with the sugar, but it's not going to be a weighed shot.
Jalathash just coming up to five minutes, ten minutes remaining. the four sensory judges sitting at the table and evaluating Gas Espressos. First visually looking at the colour of the crema. Okay judges, now what I'm going to be doing for signature drinks is discuss a topic that I've been interested in the past few weeks and that topic is foams. So I've already served you one type of foam with your espressos and that is a gas and liquid dispersion also known as the crema. So, traditionally, espresso is defined as having a foam component that is equally as important as the liquid component. But in specialty coffee, I feel like we have ignored this definition as we are not able to produce a crema that is traditionally regarded. So, every morning when I dial the coffee in at Proof Hot Coffee, I score espressos just like you've just scored mine, but one area in which the espresso always fails is that I can never give the crema a score higher than say a four. So I asked myself why this happened. Well, through some research, I discovered that we roast our highly grown, high grade Arabica coffee much lighter than what is traditionally regarded for espresso. This produces less CO2 during the roast process, which is then less CO2 in the bean. We also then rest our coffee on our shelves for much longer, which is degassing the coffee. So when it comes to use it on our bar, we can extract the coffee more easily and more evenly. So, what I wanted to do for you guys today was to serve you the same tasty shots of espresso that you've just drunk, but with an enhanced crema. So, what I've done is poured a double shot of espresso, same ones as what you've just drunk, on top of 10 grams of a Costa Rican organic cane sugar. So that sugar's there to emulate the sweetness and flavor you get from my espressos. I'm gonna be using a whipping siphon. So I'm gonna place that now into the whipping siphon, along with a few other ingredients. Okay, so along with that, I'm going to be using 150 grams with delicious Russell Russet variety apple juice. And I chose this apple juice because it emulates that grape-like malic acidity you get with my espresso. And also the flavour of the apple juice complements the coffee very well. I'm going to chuck that in. And then now to create the foam, I need an emulsifier. So today I've chosen an egg white substitute. It's not real eggs. That's about four grams. Okay. And then now what I need to do with the siphon is charge it up to pressurize and help create the foam. So I'm going to be using 16 grams of nitrous oxide to do this. Ready? That's the gas. It's good. So now I just need to let that do its thing for a minute. And while that's happening, I'm going to prepare the espresso shots for signature beverages. Okay, so judges back to wage shots. Same shots again as my espresso. Again, I'm going to pull these both at the same time. Oh, something good. Oh, something good. 
Oh. Just coming up to ten minutes, Gareth, five remaining. siphon so I just need to depressurize this a little bit and just purge off a bit of the foam otherwise it's going to just go over okay so now what I'm going to do to each of your espressos is add a cupping spoon's worth of this foam on top now the idea behind this foam is that it's going to give you a sweet crema not a horrible bitter crema like you used to a lovely creamy mouthfeel and the most consistent persistent foam that you'll score And also, the colour looks like looks like crema as well, which is kind of So I want to give these to you. I'd like you to use the same protocols you use for my espresso. Give them three stirs, salsa crema. Enjoy. And be right back. Now we serve the best foam that you can enjoy with an espresso with the cappuccinos. And I'll be right back with this. Let's give Gareth a great big round of applause, please, for those four signature drinks. Got a time. 12.42. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do this one by one, both on this group. Thirteen minutes, Gareth. Two remaining. Awesome. So it's twenty point eight. So happy with that. Again, just gonna wait one. Tell me what the girl does to the boy if you can get around to it. Show me what the girl does to the boy If you can get around to it Show me what to do you Just coming up to 14 minutes, Gareth. Okay, so now a few cappuccinos. Sorry about that. So in milk, the flavours of this espresso turn into a lovely oaty milk with milk. The milk chocolate. It's almost like milk covered digestive. Thirty seconds. Show me what 
what the girl does to the boy You can get around to it Time check 15.08 Show me okay. what the girl does to the boy Hope you can get around to it Show me what to do you most enjoy If you can get around to it Learning all about you I hope it's never Some check 15.33 33 your new toy if you can get around to it okay sorry guys I just gotta rush these a little bit oops okay so I'm just gonna whack that espresso milk on top of the espresso I don't wanna go over time so again what you get it's like milk chocolate digestives time check 1603 <sighs> This time, go come out to the front. <laughs> so, got a little bit of tension there, oh. building in. Yeah, good. Fucking good. You competed last year, a big difference on. Oh, I don't know what happened, just relaxed. I don't know. I'm just, I can't talk, sorry. Okay, all right, we'll leave it. Great. Great big round of applause, please, for Gareth Jones.